Welcome to the National Centre for Vocational Education Research's free web-based Avetmus validation software. For the duration of this video, the Avetmus validation software will be referred to as AVS. To access the AVS, go to www.avs.ncver.edu.au. To get started, please sign in here. Here you can see the Messages, Collections and News sections. The Messages and Collections sections will be blank until your first validation in AVS. Messages. Messages are generated after each validation and submission attempt and will also be sent to you via email. Collections. This section displays an overview of your most recent validations and their status, for example, validated, and will include all validations completed by users associated with your organisation. News. We post all system, classification and validation rule updates in this section and recommend you check them regularly to ensure you have the most up-to-date information. To start validating data, press this button and select New Collection. This is where you select your collection details, upload files and validate your data. If you're submitting fee-for-service or Commonwealth-funded data directly to NCVER, select your organisation name from the organisation drop-down menu. If you report all your data to your state or territory training authority, select your email address or your organisation name. From now on, we'll refer to state or territory training authorities as STAs. Type refers to the collection type. Select VET Provider Collection. Select the year of training. Now select your collection period. Selecting the correct collection period is very important. For detailed information on the different collection periods, please see the AVS User Guide. For interim validations, select the quarterly collection period which covers the date range of the activity you're validating data for. If you're unsure which quarterly collection period to select when reporting to your STA, or whether or not you're required to report quarterly, please contact your STA directly. You can find STA contact information by clicking here. Select January to December when submitting data directly to NCVER for the annual end-of-year collection. Please note that you'll only be able to select the January to December collection period in the final quarter of the year. Now we'll demonstrate how to run a quarterly collection. Click the Add Files button and then select the files from where they're saved on your system. If your student management system or data entry tool exported your files individually, you'll need to select each file. Alternatively, you can select and add a zip file. Once files are selected, click Open. Upload your files. Now validate. Once your data is validated, any errors and or warnings will be shown in the status column. Reports on the errors and warnings can be accessed via the Export Summary and Export Details buttons. Select Export Summary for an overview of your errors and or warnings. RTOs reporting to their STA may be required to include a copy of their Export Summary with their submission. Select Export Details for a comprehensive spreadsheet that identifies and details the fields triggering your errors and or warnings. Once you've identified which files and fields contain errors, you'll need to fix the data at the source. Then you'll need to re-upload and revalidate your data. 
download the Fixing Validation Errors fact sheet from our Avetmus support page for more details. Once all your data has been run through with a successful status of validated, that is, error-free, you can finalise your submission. If you selected your email address from the organisation's drop-down menu and are validating data to report to your STA, you'll see this message. Warning! You do not have sufficient privileges to submit. This is to be expected because you'll be exporting, not submitting your data. If you selected your RTO name from the organisation menu and selected a quarterly collection period, you'll see this message. This collection is not open for submission. RTO submissions are available for January to December periods only. Once again, this is to be expected because you'll be exporting, not submitting your quarterly validation. Upon clicking the export button, this pop-up window appears asking you if the system should encrypt client names or not. Please contact your STA directly to confirm whether you are to encrypt client names. The data will be exported into NAT files in a zip folder ready to be sent to your STA. Alternatively, to submit data directly to NCVR for annual collection, remember to select the January to December collection period. Please note that you will only be able to submit data once the submission window for the January to December collection period opens. If the submit button is greyed out, this is because the January to December collection period is not open yet. To confirm when a collection period opens, please contact the Avetmus support team. Once your data have validated, tick the disclaimer and select the Submit button. When submitting data directly to NCVER, client names are encrypted and address details are coded. You can also export your data and save it to your computer as per the previous example. For more details on how to validate your data, download the AVS User Guide by clicking here before you sign in. Click here to visit our Avetmus support page to access a range of support materials such as fact sheets and frequently asked questions. Now you're ready to validate your Avetmus data. Thank you for watching.